All right, welcome back to another episode of the Cody Tucker Show. As always, I'm your host, Cody Tucker. Today, I am joined by a very special guest. Once again, coming back to the show, Starcy Diamond. How are you doing? Pretty good. How are you? Uh, I am great. So, just so you know, you are the you're only the second person that I've ever had as like a a returning guest. So, yeah, that's because it was like four years ago. Yeah, did not realize and it was as that long. You can see a lot has changed <laughs> since then oh my god yes yeah, so that's definitely what i was wanting to get into so uh before we get into all that um go ahead and plug promote where can people find you all that good stuff um go to www.darcydiamond.ca so d-a-r-c-y-d-i-a-m-o-n-d.ca and then it will have all the socials everything on there the links super easy rather than saying everything all at once hell yeah that works perfect so also just a heads up i like where i'm at right now i think we're under a tornado warning or watch whichever one is like yeah i know whichever one is like the lower bad uh so with that being said if i get sucked up into the air in the next you know hour uh you know pay that no mind uh, we'll we'll regroup and and uh continue i'm where we jealous uh why why i <laughs> love tornadoes i'm obsessed and oh twister 2 is coming out in theater oh my god i cannot wait i'm so excited twister is one of my favorite movies like the original mine too i used <sighs> to watch it all the time same with planet of the apes and i've seen all of them including the newest one was it good i haven't seen it yet so good. Oh, I highly recommend great. it. If you haven't seen the previous ones, you need to watch all of them. Yeah, My cousin yeah. just did it. And she's like, dude, mm. how come you didn't tell me about this sooner? I was like, well, I asked you to go to the movies with me. And you're like, I've never seen it. And I'm like, I'm going to find somebody who appreciates going. <laughs> oh, I and definitely, I am a, I love Planet of the Apes. Like, uh, not just There's, like, the, I mean, I love the new ones for sure, but like, mm-hmm. I, the old like all the original, oh yeah, like the first two with Charlton Heston and then the ones after that, like. I mean, they get I a little obsessed. Wide, but... I am still obsessed, but now the newer ones, I don't know what's about it, but I'm just like even more so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh, whenever I was a kid, like anytime I'd go stay over with my grandparents, they would always like put on um like Turner Classic Movies, you know, that channel. Yeah, or and like uh, so we... Kip the Night huh? Rider or something. Kip the Night Rider. Well, yeah, yeah. There was, I mean, Night Rider, like Stuff all like that. that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So they would put on like all these like, you know, old movies that they watch and that's what we would watch and planet of the apes was one that like came on frequently so i remember just watching that movie as a kid and always having a thing for a nova like the chick in that movie was like oh my god (laughs) like like all like that might have been like one of the first like oh yeah yeah like yeah those oh man i love those movies so much yeah charlton heston's such a badass too i mean a horrible actor and kind of a horrible person but god it's good in that. What what about the Mark Wahlberg one? Did you like that one? Because that one's a big hunk of I dog shit. Really, I I did because it was the it was the start of like the the newer ones. The Mark the only Wahlberg. Why... One? Wait, am I thinking about the right one? No, like, no, no, Mark the Wahlberg one's the one that came out in two thousand one. That's James Franco. Okay, that's what I'm thinking of, James Franco. Yeah, no, that's a great one. See, yeah, 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 I got pregnancy brain right now, so it's really bad. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no worries no worries okay but yes playing the age but no i don't like i don't like mark, mark, mark Wahlberg, the no. donnie brothers the uh, Wal- Wahlberg yeah, the, brothers the, the Wahlberg brothers yeah donnie yes. seems all right donnie's donnie mm-hmm. Wahlberg's actually a better actor donnie's a cool which one. Is, mark's the annoying one well mark's the one who also you know like blinded an old vietnamese man and did a lot of uh hate crimes back in the day and somehow because he's a catholic and puts little ashes on his forehead we're supposed to just forgive him uh you know whatever <laughs> jesus sorry mark Wahlberg, but uh i mean not really don't be sorry no i'm not sorry donnie Wahlberg actually <laughs> seems all right i mean he is married to jenny mccarthy who is batshit crazy but uh donnie seems all right he's really good in the sixth sense hot. huh she's allowed to be crazy she's hot oh those are the best kinds yeah <laughs> like who, nobody wants like a hot boring person like you have to be hot and crazy like um what was her name from tlc lisa lopez like burned her husband's house down that's that's good stuff that's what you want in a relationship <laughs> i mean <laughs> i mean even bordering like jody arias uh you know i'm yeah yeah, yeah. anyways that's hilarious <laughs> so last time we talked 
you had just gotten your asshole tattooed. That was like, yeah, that was yeah. February. Sorry, that was January of 2020. Yeah, that was the last time we talked. You had just done it, uh, like just gotten it done. And boy, was that an interesting conversation. So that was the big news then. So the big news now is that you are. Do you want me to go from start to end? Because a lot has happened since then in chronological order. Well, well, there is a there's a big. What's the major part? You know, a big news. Big news is that I'm pregnant. Yeah. I'm just about five months pregnant, but I have to hide it for work. So I have to suck in. God. Oh, Do welcome you to see my how bad world. it is? Yes. Okay. So here, I'll suck it in right now and then I'll let it sit out. Oh, okay. Okay, that's sucking in and that's letting it out. My God. So when I'm on stage, I have to. Oh. That can't be good. So, I, I I've been doing it since I came back, like March. God, that of March. I mean, that's but be. if they know that I'm pregnant, they're gonna not book me anywhere. So you wow. know, I gotta suck that in. Even people are like, oh, you know, people have fetishes for those. I was like, uh, that'd be good for camming or like online type stuff, but not while you're on paid. <laughs> I mean, I can't. I'm, I mean, if I was in there right now, mm-hmm. and you were sucking in like that, I'd be panicking. <laughs> i'm so punching cl- all the walls oh my god i'm so claustrophobic already i'm so claustrophobic already like if i felt <laughs> you know everything closing in on me holy hell god that is that's amazing well congratulations first and foremost Thank obviously you. but uh yeah that's i mean that is so wait you're how far along almost five? almost five months so like next week i think it's five months Jeez. so i don't know anything about pregnancy although it does look like i've been pregnant since about 2008 Um, (laughs) but i mean are you like that it seems like like you cannot tell that you're pregnant like uh, you know like you let go and well when you let go and like you see the bump yeah but like yeah you're supposed to be like getting like big like everywhere isn't that a thing or my third so with my first my second it was just my stomach but I couldn't suck in my stomach. And then oddly enough, now I can. So I think this baby more so sits in the back rather than oh. sitting front heavy because uh, my oldest, who is now 16, and my youngest, who is now nine, were both that are, they are both boys. So they were sitting front heavy. So, like, all if you looked at me from behind and I was standing there, you couldn't tell I was pregnant until yes. I turned around. And then there's right. a big, huge, giant belly, but that's it. Don't yeah. really don't gain weight anywhere else. It's insane. God, and then, lucky you. So that happened around the time that I got married this year. Okay. In my January. God. Yeah. So my husband claims that I'm going to get fat. I'm going to have stretch marks everywhere. I'm like, I have stretch marks all over my thighs, my butt. That's why it's all tattooed because I covered it up. That's. It's not my stomach. Yeah. My God. I mean, the amount of stretch marks I have. Like you would think that I had had, you remember like the Octomom? Remember that being a thing? Like yeah. her and I probably have, if you were to just take a gander at our stretch marks, it'd be very hard to tell the difference between the two of us. I mean. I'm dead. Oh, it looks like a, like a satellite view of the Grand Canyon. It's just not, not good. But so, man, that is amazing. It's just amazing that you can like suck in and hide it like, that well it's, it oh my god it's like i'm That's dying crazy. when i do it and of oh, course yeah. there's like this week i just got my schedule i've never been here before uh-huh. so i just got my schedule for this week and i'm the yellow because i start tomorrow yeah yeah and this week i have 16 shows next week because i have to do monday to saturday um i'll have 39 shows next week oh my god yeah so how long is a show like uh, an hour, like 30 sure. minutes, 15 minutes, 18, 18 minutes ish out here. Okay. And then, well, you know, you still... do your play time here. It's like, there's, it's, there's, it's not the loony game. I think it's just bills. My so God. I'm so used to like, you know, rolling up a poster for people to throw yeah. loonies or toonies into and, you know, Wait, look what the at hell's my... a loony and a toonie? Um, a loony and a toonie. Oh, uh, like money. 
Yeah, I wonder well, if I left it. Oh, it's in the hang on. I kind of forgot that you were Canadian, so that because I don't have that stupid accent, <laughs> and I don't say <laughs> a or boot. Ah, uh, well, I kind of like the Let's boot. See. You kind of like the boot. So the people boots, throw boots nothing good. less, ne nothing less than a loony. So if you see silver, they're assholes. So that's a loony. That's a toonie. Oh, I got a, that's I got $1, a couple of toonies. Two dollars. Yeah, every once in a while, I'll, then, I'll get a toonie uh, whenever I get changed. And, yeah. and then just... our funny money, which is this Mike. fucking paper money that smells like maple syrup. Does it really? It, it actually does. Oh that my god! Amazing. Look at this. So before I got pregnant, I decided to get filler put into my under eyes because I used to have uh -huh. it done when I was 20, 21. Yeah. I do. Who knows? Way back then. And then after 10 years, it kind of went away. So I look like tired. So when I got it done, it just like makes it refresh and like yeah. nice. The product that um, the person used did not sit with my body and just like, like it hardened with my girlfriend. Hers turned out phenomenal me it uh -huh. looked like two giant tic tacs were inserted into my oh. under eyes so i've tried to dissolve this so many times and it's going to take time before it actually oh goes i see it yeah yeah it yeah, annoys yeah. the shit out of me the, oh my god you i mean you really put yourself through quite yeah quite the ringer i mean that is amazing yeah. i mean it's cool well, like mean, that's just the shitty part of it but well yeah but also the last time we talked you didn't have your tongue split no okay or so i did this the eyes one. yeah no i did first i did my first eye my right eye in uh -huh. miami december 16th of no december 13th of 2022 and then i went to, and flew to miami saw the same guy luna cobra um february 16th in yeah hollywood uh last year and then he split my tongue april 5th in miami okay. God, that is. I need amazing. to get a second split though because it healed up over halfway. Oh, so it's supposed to be like twice as far as that. And I bit my tip off. Oh. God. I was eating sushi. I was eating beef tataki, and I bit it so hard that a huge chunk of it ripped off and started gushing out blood. And I was with a friend of mine, and I started laughing hysterically. And he was like, "Are you okay?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Ripped it off." And I oh. looked at it and I'm like, oh God, like that's a huge piece of tongue. He's like, what are you going to do with that? I grabbed my chopsticks and then I picked it up and then dipped it in the soy sauce and wasabi and just popped it in my mouth. And he's like, I'm going to puke. Did you seriously just do that? Because he doesn't oh. fish. And I'm like, it was delicious. Now I wonder what, I wonder if that's how it tasted for Hannibal Lecter. Is that considered cannibalism? Like That's what that... I thought. I thought it was, I wanted hmm. to try it. And I was like, it didn't taste like anything. I was like, like, no, it just tastes like Sam sashimi. No taste. Because it is, I mean, it is human, but like, I mean, does it count as cannibalism if it's your own shit? I guess. Has to be. I would think so, because I was uh, just like, I feel like fucking... <laughs> that I is pretty awesome. You do like land. the little, yeah, do the... <laughs> the little... <laughs> oh my god. That's like, I just watched that movie the other day for like probably the 200th oh, time did you i watched red dragon after uh i watched hannibal and then red dragon yes yeah, yeah, so i did the little three p which i hannibal's not really that great it's actually kind of a shitty movie i just watch it because it's one of the funniest movies ever made um it's like gary so dumb, but it's so good like gary oldman is the old you know like decrepit man like cordell like that part makes me laugh so much whenever a cordell was pushing him into the pig pit cordell like that <laughs> oh my god and then red dragon's amazing i think red dragon's so good it is it's phenomenal i wish that we'd come up with something for um i just saw in the um popping up because people are sharing it all over but um robert Picton, the pig farmer in uh vancouver what apparently is it? it's uh Robert Picton, like he, um, uh -huh. he would pick up, uh, uh, how would you say that? Ladies of the night or just, Hookers. you know, Aboriginal women. Yeah. Uh -huh. And, uh, he would kill them and feed them to his pigs. There's Ew. a lot more to it. It's insane. Like, I wish they had like a full on actual documentary because I'd yeah. be like, to it. That's wild. 
I mean, pigs are terrifying in a lot of ways. So they're gross. Oh, super so funny. Gross. I just like ate salad the other day and it had bacon in it. And I was just giving it to my son. I'm like, mm, I can't eat this right now. I can't <laughs> you do pork. I can't do bread. Like just in general or because you're pregnant? Mm, like I like, I like bacon, but just right now because I'm pregnant, it's, it's a no go. I'm like, Bleh. really? But you will eat your tongue, which is. That was, was, hey, that that was last year. <laughs> that was last year. Now, do you eat weird shit because you're pregnant? Like pickles and peanut butter is a thing I've no, always heard, I, and I always thought that was so weird. So we think it's a girl, because okay, um, with my oldest and my youngest, I was obsessed with pickles. I would slice the pickle in half, carve up the inside, and eat it, and then I'd put some sriracha in there, and then like cut up little blocks of cheese and put it inside and eat it like a sandwich. That's damn. Or if I, I didn't want to yeah. cut up cheese, I'd put like uh the craft cheese or you know the sliced yeah. cheese and just grab oh, yeah. it and eat it but My i love God. that but now i can't do i can't do pickles i can't do spice i can't do bread i can't do Jeez. pork like it's it's um it's bad. miserable it's so bad <laughs> that sucks because with my youngest i was nauseous from the beginning to the end this one nauseous still it's I'm I haven't taken the medication in like two days now, almost three days. Yeah. Um, because it's expensive. Yeah. It's like fifty, sixty dollars for a bottle that doesn't even last a month. Jesus. So I'm just trying to like not take it and see if I feel better. But today it's like an on and off. I'm like, oh, am I supposed to be puke? Oh, and I'll be fine. God. After a little bit, like in the morning when I try to like sip on water, I'm just like, oh, I can feel it <laughs> in my God. throat. What y'all go through, it's just, like, guys don't get that shit at all. Like, we take credit for way more than we should. Because most guys, like, will say, like, we're pregnant. It's like, boy, that's we're a real pregnant. slap in the face, well, isn't it? I mean, it's kind of true because uh, <laughs> Anthony will be like, <laughs> well, he wouldn't be like that. But in his brain, yeah, he's yeah. like that because, like, when we're together, because he lives in the States. Yeah. Um, when we are together, and I'm like, always wanted to eat and i'm well even before i was pregnant i was always eating and making him eat with me because he'll be like i'm not hungry i'm not gonna eat i'm sitting there i'm like okay hmm, i guess i won't eat then and he's just like <laughs> really darcy and i'm just like it's like fine let's go eat i'm like okay thank you yeah. <laughs> i'm like i want to go to an all you can eat i want to go to a hot pot and this and that and it's just like oh yeah oh god i mean i guess it has oh, its he- perks it's funny because then he's just like, I got a dad pod. I'm like, no, you don't. You look perfect. Like, you look fine. <laughs> a dad like, pod? No, just because of your pregnancy eating and cravings, I'm doing the same thing. Yeah, it is I'm a like, thing. Uh, I mean, that's what happens. Yeah. D- no, dudes definitely gain a little weight uh, during it, like a second hand. It's like second hand smoking almost. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. So, what else? I mean, have you done anything else? Like, I know, like, the tongue, the eyes. So, sure. when I told you that I would, or after I got my ass tattooed, I said that I was going to get into doing porn, didn't know I was going to do it. Hmm. I got contacted by Samantha Mac with Mac Models to do my first scene ever, first scene. And it was a professional scene, not yeah. an amateur scene. And that was for VR Bangers, which was, I shot that October 2022. Um, it ended up being a boy girl anal VR scene. Um, and then uh, fast forward to 2021 of March, she got me another scene with loveherfeet.com. Uh, uh-huh. So it was like a foot fetish type thing. Yeah. So it was like Darcy Diamond's dirty pool side something. Yeah. Something like that. And yeah. so uh, I did that. And then I was just shooting my own stuff. Like if mm-hmm. I was seeing someone. And if, you know, they wanted to shoot or whatever, if they're comfortable with it, I would just shoot it and then just like edit it. It was just ghetto, yeah, ghetto yeah, homemade yeah. nonsense. <laughs> and then um, after that, at the end of 2021, I got into uh, a relationship where I wasn't allowed to strip. I wasn't allowed to do camming. So I ended up having to postpone all that stuff. And I was like, yeah. okay, well, I guess I'll just sit at home and do nothing and owe you money. Um, God. So that happened up until July or June, because uh, I decided to go work in March of 2022. Because I was like, mm-hmm. 
I owed the person that I was seeing because he was covering the bills after I went through my savings after how long of being together. And it's expensive living out in BC. So, yeah. and with a child. So then um, March rolls around. I'm like, fuck this. I'm going to work for a week. So we'd go. We went because mm-hmm. like they could stay at the hotel with me and the club was just downstairs. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I got bitched at the whole entire time I was there. Oh, you're doing dances. You're fucking doing that. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I'm not even doing this. I'm getting bought out. And I'm just hanging out. I'm not doing anything. Yeah. I don't Jesus. have to make it. That's what, that's what good regulars are for. Yeah. <laughs> this year has not been the same. This no. year, mm-mm. you messaged, you know, um, the people that would come in, buy you out, buy tons of dances. Mm-hmm. It's spring breakup. It's terrible. They're not in. <laughs> they're, they're nowhere to be found. Yeah. Oh, God. Um, it's just, it's been dead everywhere. So that's why I'm happy that this is my last week and a half because yeah. everyone says it's really good here. Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess we'll see, but I'm just excited. Hell yeah. That's me. So how many scenes have you done since you started? Oh yeah. I forgot we're talking about that. Yeah. ADHD. <laughs> no worries. Um, so, uh, after, uh, so March, I got in shit and then fast forward to June, I decided I was going to start doing stage again more. And yeah. then he said, there's going to break up with me. And I was like, go ahead. Because why am I sitting here owing you money, not doing anything at home with my son when I need to work? And so he broke up with me in the beginning of July of 2022. And then I had, I was supposed to go to Vegas to go meet with someone who I thought owned the company that I shoot with now that I'm a brand ambassador for. Yeah. Uh, But he wasn't a part of that anymore. Mm -hmm. And so I felt extremely uncomfortable. And then, you know, I messaged Alterotic and then got in contact with Slava and I was like, hey, I'm coming out that way um, for these dates. And he's like, oh, I'm going to be there. Do you want to shoot? I'm like, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so then I went down there um, the beginning of August of 2022, booked my flight and everything, and then booked my hotel when the second day that I was there, I brought a girlfriend with me at the time because she, she, she wanted to get into the industry and, and, you know, didn't know how to get into it. So I, I asked Lava, I was like, hey, if – my girlfriend flies on with me, you know, she's always wanted to be a porn star. Mm-hmm. She'd be considered an international porn star right after she shoots, right? And he's like, absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, she started crying. She was excited, happy. So then we went down together. She shot the first day because she had a split tongue. I didn't. Um, and they needed a girl with a split tongue. Um, and then that's when I decided, I was like, I'm going to get it done this year. So let's toss me in there like a little cameo type thing. Being like, where the fuck's yeah. my split tongue? <laughs> it's so... <laughs> Wait, who? I got it. Who was it? Uh, Kennedy Rose. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, because uh, it was Kennedy Rose, Lazy Lady Lazarus, and Misha Montana. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it was like Hamiltonians. Yeah, yeah. Um, or my Hamiltonian or something. Um, yeah. and then, so that the next day we shot, I shot my first like biggest wiener that i've ever shot with it was big wieners are not fun. let's just say that yeah, um tell me about so it there, it was a girl a boy girl 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 scene so there was three of us and him and uh we ended up catching the next day we the the, the guy was like um i have symptoms of chlamydia and we're just like what oh like boy. we're all all the testing was like you know cleared mine was negative the person i brought was like all negative on everything and you know their tests were negative but somebody was sleeping with somebody in between shooting of the oh, test dates god called gonorrhea he was all gonorrhea Ooh. and that was i had like ptsd i mean i still had ptsd since then but i mean like it was i called my doctor crying They're like, oh, so this just happened i don't yeah. know if i have it or not but when i come back to canada he's like hey tell me what pharmacy you want me to send your stuff to and you can go pick Jesus. it up and take the vacation right then and there because you just i think you just take it all at once or something and then yeah god yeah you had ptsd yeah that yeah ptsd <laughs> but at least it, at least it goes away because yeah are there any sucked. that don't go away other than like you know aids or hiv or whatever but like 
I mean, they all, yeah, all, that's what happens. There's they don't go away, there's right? Herpes, there's uh, oh, herpes. Yeah, herpes doesn't go away. Uh, what is the other one? Well, no, there's like, I mean, chlamydia and gonorrhea and syphilis. Syphilis is one I don't think goes, or no, I think it goes no, away. That, that goes away. It, it's medication too. Okay. I never had it. Yeah. But, you know, we learned about that in school. Yeah. But yeah, no, that, yeah. that takes medication to go away. I'm like trying to think. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. Syphilis, like the only time I've ever really heard like was about like Al Capone and people like that. And it was like, I think it was a different kind of syphilis because it was like the one that was like rotting their brains and shit. I mean, Al Capone mm, spent like the last yeah. 10 years of his life, like fishing into his own swimming pool. So yeah, what does that tell you? Yeah, that's godly. That is amazing. Holy shit. Yeah. So that, yeah. I sh and then so later that week, we're just like, I was supposed to shoot a scene with someone. And then, so the one girl had a gangbang scene to go shoot. And then, oh, yeah. you know, after that, after that shoot that we all had together, so nobody knew. And then, so she shot her gangbang scene and obviously they had shoots afterwards. So obviously that's how it spreads like wildfire in one day. Yeah. yeah. And so um, by the end of the week, it was like the day before I had to fly out to leave to go back to Canada. Um, I was supposed to shoot with one guy. And then the girl that I brought was supposed to shoot with a different guy who wasn't a part of that gangbang. So then I messaged, you know, the dude and I was like, hey, since you were already a part of that gangbang and we're supposedly, um, you know, um, what is that called? Contaminated in a sense. I was yeah. like, if you want to still shoot, I'm down because why not? Like, we might as well not waste a yeah. day shooting since, you know, I'm not going to be able to start whatever the medication is until I get home on Sunday to go pick it up. And then he's just like, yeah. I'm down. But we just all died because it's like his girlfriend or I don't know, wife, girlfriend, I think I think it was uh, Um, but his partner uh yeah. was just like they were just making like they were all just making fun of all of us because even like our producer Holy director fuck. was like, You guys don't come near me because I don't need to catch whatever you guys got. And we're just like oh. not even we, we it doesn't even work that way. It's not airborne. Yeah, you'd have to that was my first time. You'd have to get real close. Yeah. Oh, that was yeah. the first time? Well, that's that good. was my first and last time. Yeah. Yeah. See, I think people just assume. I just that if knock you're... on wood here. Yeah. Probably a good idea. I mean, you never know. I think people just assume that if you're in the porn industry, then you like have had every STD, which is a bunch of bullshit. Cause typically, I mean, I know that like your case was, you know, it did happen, but like, I think that's pretty rare that that happens. I think. I thought it was hilarious. Like, yeah. <laughs> when, when, when the one girl told us and, uh, I'm so sorry to tell you this. You guys, we're just like looking at each other, and we're like, "What?" And because we just got, I just got my eyeliner tattooed, and then mm -hmm. um, she just had her freckles done, and so when she told us, she's bawling her eyes out, and then we're sitting there looking at each other, like, "Well, that's something a pill can fix." Thankfully, yeah. it's our first time, well, my first time catching it, and I think it was her, her, her first time too. And we're just sitting there, like, "Well, what are we gonna do? Cry? No, let's just yeah. laugh about it because." It you happened. do say a boot. A boat. Uh, that's not what you said. <laughs> <laughs> I caught you slipping. You said a boot. I, My no lips worries. are dry. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I well, don't know. Uh, we'll keep it between us girls. But uh, yeah, that yeah, is. Yeah, right. You're going to go back and just clip it and have it say it over and over and over again. That was the plan. Yeah. That's <laughs> God, yeah, I don't think I've ever had an STD. I had a scare and then it turned out to be a UTI because I was drinking like room temperature beer, which apparently Ooh. can give you a UTI if you drink enough really? of it. Yeah, it was whenever I was like 17 and I used to like just sneak beers from like my parents at night and they were like, you know, not in the fridge. So I would have to like take like room temperature ones and I would just chug like six of them in a row and then go to sleep. Yeah. And uh, I got a UTI, did not know that's what it was. And had a full like meltdown thinking that I had like caught something. And my doctor was like, worst. yeah, my doctor's like, uh, yeah, you definitely don't have anything. Dumbass. Like this is a UTI. I was like, oh boy, the uh, phone call I just had uh, <laughs> didn't need to happen then. <laughs> Cause I called, yeah. yeah, I called the person that I was uh, hooking up with at the time. I was like, that's hilarious. They're probably yeah. like scared shitless. And then uh, at, did you call them afterwards? Be like, so it was from the beer I was drinking. Well, uh, I might've made a little bit of a mistake. So I called, so I had had it in my head that I had been given an STD from her. So I called and was not necessarily the nicest nice. person. 
Um, so then had to call back and say, Hey, uh, you know, all that, uh, yelling I was just doing and, uh, name calling. I really regret <laughs> all I'm just of gonna that. Tuck my tail between my legs and just hip yeah. that way. Yeah, it was, um, well, it was pretty much, uh, that was the end of that. So yeah, turns out you can get an S, uh, you can get a UTI from drinking room temperature beer. So let that you be a can... lesson to you fellas. Just like how girls can get BV yeast infections from eating yeasty foods. It's yeah. Brutal. Well, guys can too. I mean, guys can get yeast infections mm -hmm. if they're like, um, that's what I remember her saying that I had it for or what she thought. She was like, well, it could be a yeast infection. I was like, how the fuck would I have a yeast infection? I don't have a goddamn vagina. I don't think. But and, uh, somebody's been drinking more beer. Exactly. Yeah, it's uh, just all in all a lot of tactical errors on my part, which for as smart as I like to think I am, I am also really stupid <laughs> in a lot of ways. I mean, uh, I am yeah. too, so. <laughs> yeah, we're in good company. My God. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that would have been my third professional scene and fourth professional scene in the industry. And then I was Ooh. traumatized PTSD focusing on getting my body modifications. So yeah. I didn't get back into shooting until the following year. So when I got my first okay. eye done in December, I flew out to LA and then I shot another scene with two other girls and a guy. So it was like three girls and a guy again. And I looked at Slava and I was like sweating and like ready to cry. And he's like, what's wrong? I was like, yeah. I feel like I'm going to catch something. He's like, you saw all their test results. And I was like, what <laughs> happens if they slept with someone beforehand? I was Amen. Like, Give me something I can't get rid of. And it's just like, Darcy, you're fine. You have PTSD. So after like, so that was like a Wednesday or it was just after Valentine's Day. And. Uh, God. <laughs> so then um, we, okay. So then I looked at him um, a couple of days later. I'm like, I'm going to message the girl, the, the one girl that set up everything. She's a professional porn star too. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm going to message her and see if she's been pissed yet. He's like, don't do that. She's going to fucking think you're crazy. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, like I'm like stressed to the point. I couldn't breathe. I just wanted to cry. I just felt like my chest was like getting tight and my stomach was turning. I was like, I have to know. So I like messaged her, whatever I messaged her at that time. And yeah. I was like, hey, love, quick question. I have really bad PTSD for what happened back in August when I shot in the States. And I was like, did you by any chance go get retested yet? I was like, because I can't get tested yet until I go home. And she's just like, dude, don't worry. I have PTSD like you do. She's like, after our shot, at the day after our shoot, I went and got tested. Everything came back negative. And I was yeah. like, oh. Whew. I started God. crying. I'm like, I, I voice message her. I'm like, thank you so much. You're the absolute best. Jesus. And then Slava's like, you're seriously fucking crazy. I was like, what? I'm like, I can't help it, but I can't just sit here and like freak out and wonder what's like, you know, yeah, what's brewing up. And I was like, yeah. guess what? Good news. Nothing is. <laughs> Congratulations. Boy, our lives are very different. <laughs> <laughs> in a good i mean you know in a good like you have i mean it's just so different like i'm like that though after every shoot i i get so paranoid because you just don't know yeah um, so yeah that, i mean yes, yeah I shot then, like how then could I, I you be a hundred percent sure like you, you couldn't can't be because like you couldn't a hundred percent be sure that, i'm yeah. I'm the only person that doesn't shoot content trade. Well, I mean, there's a lot of other people out there, but mm -hmm. other the people that I know, I don't shoot. I don't just go to meet up with other content creators or whatever and shoot yeah. with them, like OnlyFan girls or cam people. Yeah. It, to me, it's studio shoot only, like Slava shooting for Alterotic, or I've shot with Inked Vixens. And now mm -hmm. that I have um, just got approved for my status so after the baby comes i could actually go work with brazzers and pink and vixen and all them yeah so i can actually go work legally now because right because i have status my my actual card will be in the mail within like one to four months okay. um once i'm able to without you know being with child yeah um i i, I i'm down to shoot for big companies yeah so that is the plan though right is to yeah I mean, to yeah so what's the i mean it's still shooting yeah yeah for sure i mean it's the, i'm gonna this is my last week and a half on stage i'm finally retiring yeah. after 14 years 
Dang. Um, so then in the meantime, I'm just going to actually go hard on Twitch and kick. Hell yeah. And just game out like like yeah. I wanted to because <laughs> um being on stage holds me back from that because all my like as you can tell here, this is how yeah. it used to be back in the day. You used to have noon shows all the way till like the club closed. And noon now shows. all the places are Oh yeah. It was the best Pe- because you'd people have people like, go to strip clubs in noon. Mm-hmm. Boy, I would not and have then thought there would that. Be food and everything. So like it literally was the those were like the best days for me because yeah. um like back in the day. Uh and then once they started like opening up at like eight, nine o'clock, they're just like, mm-hmm. cool, that's like maybe half your paycheck or less. Because really? back then you would know that you're making like over nine, nine hundred, twelve hundred, like twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. Damn. Back then. Because that's just like you work the whole week and that doesn't include your tips and your dances and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Cold. Where now it's like it, it's been so bad everywhere. So that's why I'm happy I'm finally here because no matter what, I have stage shows. And it, you have no prep dances here. Can you do so you can't do that in the US? You can't do stage shows in the US? No, because you don't get paid for your stage shows. It's like you're advertising yourself for free so you can go for dances with people where there's contact. Really? Here it's no contact, yeah. That's weird. Like you're allowed to touch your boobs and like oh, your yeah. eyes and like your butt and stuff. And I'm like, mm-mm, I would. So, okay, so in Canada, like, so that's that's a no-go, like not allowed. No, the girls can like sit on the guy if they want to, but they don't yeah. have to. That's, really? that's up to your discretion. Most of the time, I'm just like, ugh, I'm sitting there belittling them because yeah. they're just like, gross little my god so even the strip clubs in canada are more polite that is yeah amazing. but women that come into the strip clubs are the most perverted and try to grow up it's horrible really but a lot don't yeah a handful of them do like they just think that they can like rope your boob or your butt and you know because they're and, girls yeah it's yeah horrible that yeah i could kind of see that because it's huh it's not as threatening so like, or seemingly not as threatening, even though right? it's they're like, oh, still... I'm a girl. That's okay. And they're just like, uh, no, it's not okay. Yeah. God. Yeah. See that. I mean, I've, I've only been to one strip club my entire <laughs> life and it was not a great one. Uh, where was it? Oh, here in like East Texas, uh, a real, like, uh, kind of divey place. Actually, fuck it. It's called Jaguars, which, um, anyone in the area will be very familiar um and yeah boy it, it just uh really from the moment walking in and i was about half a bottle of jack daniels deep and still clear enough to know that like i i shouldn't be in here right now like this that's this funny is, yeah this is not what i had envisioned <laughs> a strip i've club only been be. i've only been to one strip club in the states and that was spearmint rhino in dallas texas really when when was yeah. this? Oh. Like a while back or um it was so boring. Like yeah. why is my Okay, it's charging. Uh, for some reason it like unplug like it said that my, my charger unplugged, so I was like, please plug in computer. I'm like, um <laughs> it, is, it is plugged in. Yes. Technology kind of sucks. Hmm. You would think it'd be really good because people have been to the moon. But right, I gotta figure out this internet yeah problem but if for i want some... to stream this week yeah i mean it is it is amazing like the level like the high versus low like mm-hmm. yeah boy what a weird yeah so wait why was it boring the strip club i mean uh, oh because the girls weren't doing anything like they were just like they just put their arm around the pole and just like walk around it and not oh, do anything yeah. and then you know they just sit down and talk to the customers and then this one guy this cowboy looking dude he's grabbing one dollar bills and like lifting up her g-string and then rubbing it on her okay and i was like yeah so that happened here too and i remember seeing that and just being like okay gross this is fucking gross this is making me so uncomfortable and this dude was the, the dude was there by himself like sitting in this chair but it's like a chair around a like little table so not like a main yeah. stage. It was just like this little table. And yeah, and he kept doing that every single time. And she was like trying to like politely. Yes, yeah, she was like trying to politely like stop him, but like still trying to like you know yeah be like sexual. This girl loved it. She was like, oh yeah. 
And I was like, Ugh. oh god, like I want to get out of here. Yeah, it's it's it was, uh, it was, it was gross. no the whole time I was just not uh really not feeling it. Um yeah, here in yeah. Canada it's no touching. Like when you're on stage, like there's a three foot rule. Okay. So like a barrier type thing. So yeah, you yeah. Can't touch. You can't like you know we can't grab the money from them. Okay. See, yeah. I think that's that is a way better way to do it. Because the touching thing is just it's weird. Like it's gross. you know, obviously like the girls are attractive and all that stuff, and like it seems like as a guy, like you would all oh, be super into it. The whole time, like, you know, like I was getting kind of like my hands grabbed and put onto them, you know, like like touch me. And I'm like, I don't really want to. Like, no offense to no, them, but I just like it would be cool if like, you know, they were like, No, don't do it, don't do it. Like that's not cool. I mean, but no, like no, but if they were strict about non-touching because then they're like oh cool not everybody touches that person right but, like we see everybody do that to that person you're like oh god yeah yeah i just felt like i don't know i felt it, it left felt a bad taste in, in my mouth in club. many ways yeah i oh no like whenever i came home the smell on me was just <laughs> i was like oh this is not good oh uh, yeah there was it was uh oh not an experience I would ever want to do again at that type of place. Like, I, I mean, a Canadian yeah. strip club sounds fucking amazing. Do you have a signature song? Is that a thing? Or you just kind of um, dance to whatever the hell is on? I can just uh, send you some links to the playlist. But I just have, like, certain playlists that I'll turn on or whatever. Uh -huh. So, like, there's a, there's one specific one that I do have that I always play um, or that I'm obsessed with. I usually always do it for, like, my last show. Yeah. Like it's like, insane that there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's like eight shows, which is like the most, which will be like Tuesday, Wednesday. And I'm just like, uh, yeah. hopefully I can repeat my first costume for like the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. So you so it's like a full themed like show. Oh like, yeah. So so yeah, for so my it's not like the states where it's like, you know, they're in bikinis or whatever. <laughs> they're yeah, doing so, their quick little whatever shows exactly um yeah here we have like full themed outfits like my girlfriend black lilac label on instagram she's uh -huh. my best friend she's been making my costumes custom made since 2012 i have oh, so really? many so many that she's oh, up. i just cool. gave a girlfriend of mine uh the hello kitty one she made me yeah see that's that would be so much cooler if that's how it was here like that is mm -hmm. not what happened like it was just yeah like people coming out in like bathing suits like i have it was uh, just like, Ugh, this is dude, actually not even this, is, this right here is my one of my outfits yeah there is not a single strip club in texas at least where you would see someone wearing that that's yeah well, they're just in their like little um outfit thingies yeah like they're little jammer pieces is what you would call it okay oh, let's see here black 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 so this here, she just did up for me. Like she's she did. Yeah. It's actually like yeah. a Vegas showgirl theme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can. Yeah. Yeah, that's night and day different <laughs> from anything around here. Yeah, there is right? not a. Ch that's a. That is so, so that's wild. One of mine. I have. Uh, this one that's mine as well. I actually have that one here with me. Jesus, it's like something you'd wear at like uh, the Met Gala. It's like something Jared Leto would wear at the Met Gala. But like, we get paid really good money for our stage shows, like our prices. Yeah. So, I mean, a lot of girls don't put effort into, you know, getting good costumes. They think they should just, they can just go to the sex shop and pick up yeah, like yeah. some ghetto things and whatnot. But I mean, we all got to start somewhere. I went to a rape store and bought like these cute like outfits. Like it was mm -hmm. just a bunch of run. They were expensive, but I was like, I'm gonna start with these. Yeah. Like yeah. there was like a rave, rave wear, um, uh, mafia set, and I was mm -hmm. like, oh, that's sick. It's got a long cloak. Yeah. It's so pretty. Uh, here's my red rod, red red riding hood. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. So that was something that you wore for stage, like that wasn't just for like yeah. a photo shoot. No, nope, that was that was that's for stage. 
Yeah, see, I mean, there's um, that's insane. And then my, oops, my uh, Pennywise one. Yeah, that's goddamn. That's but so crazy. Is, yeah, this is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she makes, she's phenomenal. Yeah, there's not a chance in hell that would happen here. That's another one of mine. Mm -hmm. Damn. Like her work is just so fucking stunning. Yeah. It's like a, yeah, like Lil Nas X. Like something from a Lil Nas X video. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So like when the light hits it, the light hits it and stuff, like the rhinestones just like mm -hmm. glow. Not glow, but yeah, shine. Yeah. Do the okay, yeah, do poles like at a strip club, do the poles rotate? Or is that no. a no? It's the oh. uh, the momentum. So like when we're up on the pole, uh-huh, we create the momentum. Some do have spinning poles. Okay. But a lot of girls get hurt, so they swap it out with static poles, which is a standstill. Okay. Right. So, yeah, I don't know what – something kind of popped up on my uh, feed for whatever reason, and it was saying, like, you've all been lied to, and it showed, like, that the pole spins. I was like, oh, my God. No. This is amazing. Some, yeah. some do, but okay. most of the clubs that I've worked at don't. Like, it's all okay. static, so it's a standstill. Yeah. God, that's amazing. And it's funny because people are like, oh, how do you guys do those spinning poles? And we're just like, that's not a spinning pool. It is but a huge, funny. I mean, it is a talent. Like the ones, like the people who are actually good at it, like that is such. I don't do anything. Any, I don't do anything. I'm just like, I'm like well, yeah. what you consider the lazy stripper. <laughs> well, ever since oh my I broke God. my wrist, I haven't been able to do much because like, it's just like a chronic pain. Uh, yeah. So I just like to, I'm just, I, oh, I'm over sexual on stage. So I How... play. Okay. Like, I'm like, I'm spitting on myself. I'm like picking it back up and licking it and just like, you know, playing okay. with myself and not playing with myself. Yeah. Yeah. Shake my okay. butt. That's about it. Yeah. But it, it does me really well. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it would be, I mean, and also being, yeah, that's amazing. I mean, it's just such a, it's an, it's such an interesting world to me. Like, cause obviously people have their, you know, their feelings about it. And a lot of that is coming from, yeah. um, I mean, straight ignorance like most people you know like they have this old mentality of like what a stripper is what a strip club is like yeah. and all this kind of stuff and yeah and i think you know 10 minutes of listening to you talk about what a canadian strip club is like kind of gets rid of that idea i mean not that there aren't those strip clubs out there and all that kind of stuff for sure are right. but yeah that's amazing but also well, yeah i mean being like super acrobatic would have to be pretty hard right now too I mean, that little baby have to be in there just getting sloshed around. That can't be fun. Well, when I put my, like, when I lay on my back and I used to put my butt on my hand and I'll walk my legs up and I'll put my butt onto my other hand while still in the, in the air and then I'll, like, shake my legs and my butt, like, my cheeks clap together, twerk, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah. Um, It's brutal now. I can't do it as much because oh, yeah. Salem will decide to sit in the back. But when I'm doing that, all of a sudden you see this bulge pop up and then the bulge <laughs> will slowly start switching around to the, like one side to the other. And I'm just like, okay, I got to get out of this position because I can't yeah. do this right now. Well, yeah, you got a little baby in there just like fucking going nuts. Like that has to be what right? I mean, that has to be a pretty, I mean, that kid's coming out being just like a complete daredevil, I'm sure. I mean, he's already Probably, doing backflips, yeah. you know. Yeah. I think it's a girl. So Salem, is that what you said? Your name is Salem. S A L E M. A... Yeah, yeah. That's a good name. Yeah. Boy, There's... if it's a boy or a girl, that's that's what the name is. We've decided it way before it, it happened. For a boy too? Yeah. Hell yeah. I mean, my name's Darcy and I was yeah, no, no, my no, dad's I mean... best friend. Yeah. Because originally it was if I was a boy, it was supposed to be Darcy. And then if I was a girl, oh. my mom was gonna name they were gonna name me Ocean, but my dad like when they went in for their first ultrasound, which was their only ultrasound, yeah. the doctor was like, oh, you guys are having, uh, you know, a uh, boy. So my dad went out and got Darcy tattooed on his leg, like on a heart <laughs> with a stake through it. Yeah. So then when 
they delivered me at the hospital. They're like, oh, congratulations on your baby girl. And they're just like, what? It's supposed to be a boy. And they're like, yeah. oh, you have a girl. And then so like, well, we have to name her Darth now because well, Darcy my dad seems... got it tattooed. Yeah, but it seems like more of a girl's name. Is that not? No. Is it not traditionally a girl's name? I know a lot of dudes with it, like D A R C Y. Really? Um, yeah. Like huh. at, there's Darcy's that are D A R C I or D A R C E. Yeah. But I mean, I love it. No, it's yeah. The, no, it's a great name. It's just yeah. I, I don't know. I guess I've never heard like seen a guy Darcy. Very interesting. So I, I have, have a few have a cousin. Huh? I have a cousin named Darcy. Male, male really? cousin. Really? Yeah, yeah, that's huh. My God. So I have a few but random questions like... to uh to do mm-hmm. before we uh wrap up. Always try to end it with a few random ones. Um what's a movie that everyone loves but you hate? A movie that everyone loves that I hate. Yeah, so for me, um, Forrest Gump. I love Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that movie that movie sucks um, so bad a movie that everyone loves that I hate fucking um, Rocky what I hate him why it's so annoying <laughs> what that accent makes you want to punch the screen that's yeah. all of it it's just boring like I like water I love water world I love you know well yeah those Gladiator. are way different dances with wolves but something like that, I'm like, gouge my eyes out with a fork, please. Maybe my really? ears too. Oh, I love Rocky. Like the first, the first one and the fourth one. I mean, anytime the U.S. is fighting Russia in any way, it just really kind of gets gets me pumping. <laughs> I'm trying to think of another one that everybody really loves. I, I mean, just... Avatar is another one I hate. I hate that movie so much. I only liked the first one when I first watched it. Yeah, and then it, it tricked me. It got boring. Yeah, it tricked me the first time because of all the like pretty colors. Like I was watching, I was like, "Oh, this movie's amazing." Watched it the second time, I was like, "Oh, it's just Pocahontas with aliens." Okay, <laughs> yeah, I was like, "No, this movie is so stupid." I mean, for them, for the like little gem or whatever that they're trying to find, for it to be called Unobtainium, is just bothers me. I hate that kind of shit so much. Uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, Forrest Gump has always been number one to me. I hate that movie so much. There's an, I mean, Fine. it's it's the Jenny character. The Jenny character bothers me probably more oh, than any other movie character. She's a floozy. She's a piece of shit. I mean, she this is. dude was trying to be with her while she was a smackhead, you know, standing on a balcony listening to Freebird. That should have been sign number one that he should have been gone. And he didn't. He tried to save her. And she doesn't come back until guess what? Oh, Forrest, sorry, we can be together now. But I also have HIV, which this is 1991 and uncurable. So, yeah, what a piece of shit. And his child. Yeah, yeah. It is funny whenever he's like, is he like me? (laughs) It's like, well, yes, Forrest, he's six years old. So he is, you have the exact same reading level. So, yeah. I also have other news from that uh, gunnery story quickly. Yes. Um, so uh, we got nominated for the Altcorn Awards last year in June. Hell it was yeah. June 18th, and we won an award for Best Gonzo Movie. So the two scenes I had in there, and then my girlfriend that had two scenes in there, mm-hmm. the whole movie won an award. And then we have, I have, well, the three movie nominations for this upcoming Altporn Awards, which is uh, June 8th, June 9th in mm-hmm. Vegas. And then uh, just like uh, Hottest Ink Cam Girl or something. I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. Even Hell yeah. I, don't, I, only, I don't really cam anymore. The only time I do camming is when I'm yeah. gaming. That's that's badass, though. Yeah. So so you'll be in Vegas for that, I assume. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I fly yeah. out on the 4th and I fly back on the 11th. Vegas is so awesome. It's. I mean, I don't I do anything it. there. Oh, really? Yeah, since my husband and kids live there, we just chill. Oh, they live in Vegas. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that makes yeah, more sense. He's then I mean, it's practically like, born oh, and raised there. Yeah, it's just such a fascinating place to me because it doesn't it's make beautiful. sense. You know, it is. It's very beautiful. It just the idea of it doesn't make sense. Like, how is all of this here? How is all in this the in the middle of the desert? desert? Exactly. Because if I were to drive. 10 minutes outside of this it is nothing and yet somehow right? all of this shit is here 
yeah. driving into it in the day is ugly. It is. <laughs> yeah. So when I so You're I just like, is this really Vegas? This is so better. I drove to Vegas from Texas one time, which do not recommend for anyone. Uh, but I did. And driving into Vegas was such a disappointment because it was like, you know, one o'clock in the afternoon. I was like, boy, uh, I did it twice. I, I, hate <laughs> I was really like, boy, I, uh, I imagined something completely different. It's like if you were to go into like Disney World and, you know, like, and have you ever seen pictures of like at Disney World at night whenever they go in to like fix up the rides? Like whenever they show it with the lights off and you can see behind the scenes of the ride, it looks just depressing. It's kind of what it was like. I was like, oh, yeah, it isn't the magic. the lights and stuff aren't on. And when you like exactly. drive in, you're like, when you're like, what's that big, huge, giant, like hilly looking thing? Like, oh, that's the strip. Like my mom was so yeah. excited. I was like, mom, it's not even pretty. She said, get the way till nighttime. I was like, <laughs> yeah. why couldn't it be 24-7? <laughs> I know. It is, yeah. It is a, a thing that does not get advertised when talking about Vegas too much. Uh, if you could... Are you a fan of fast food? Do you eat fast food? There's no way. Yes. Really? I just I, have... I normally I eat a lot of McDonald's. My oh, favorite yeah. thing for McDonald's is the McDouble meal with no onions and McChicken sauce on the burger. And then I like a side of McChicken sauce because I'm obsessed with mayo. I can eat mayo on its own. I mean, I do eat mayo on its own with like yeah, yeah. here. But my most favorite fast food place is Chick-fil-A. Hell yeah. That's so that's what I was gonna ask. If you could only eat from one fast food place for an entire month, all of your meals have to come from this one place. Which one mm. do you think you'd be able to do it? Because Chick-fil-A is Chick-fil-A is my favorite, but your options are limited. Whereas like it's, other places well, more options. I like the waffle fries with the <sighs> fucking mayo. I can just eat the mayo by itself, but loading like one packet of mayo on one waffle fry and eating Jesus it. Jesus Christ so good oh you really and like then, mayo huh mm -hmm. and i like this oh, i like i think it's like the number two deluxe which is the spicy uh, the spicy one. burger yeah and then yeah. or i really love in and out oh in and out's amazing but i in also so really good. love del taco never had del taco del taco is not a texas it's, thing oh i don't even know yeah. i just i just like the big huge super burrito because then i asked for extra sour cream and they actually put it in there it's still cold <laughs> jesus christ God damn, you really do like like mayonnaise and sour cream, huh? Mm -hmm. Boy, I mean, I like a little I bit, you know. Sour cream on its own, mayo on uh, its own. Uh, it's so yummy. Oh, Not stop. even without being pregnant. Yeah, yeah, that is. Mm -hmm. God, there's not a chance in hell I could do that. I mean, I do but, like mayo, like on a McChicken or whatever, but like uh, by itself, there's not a fucking chance. My favorite food, though, would be my husband's food because he's Cuban and Mexican. So he's oh, always God. making like dishes. Like he, the way he makes things is the way I've never tasted it before. Like he made yeah, it yeah. with eggs. I've never had eggs and rice before because I don't mix food. But the way he made it and yeah. then put salt on it, I was just like, oh my God, can I have more, please? Eggs and rice? <laughs> eggs and rice. Boy, I've never had eggs and rice like, either. You just like it's huh. like a, a soft boiled, like not a soft boiled, like a like a over easy egg, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. you mix it all in together, and it's so fucking delicious. Holy shit, that sounds good. I could do like eggs and beans, like refried beans with egg is always really good. But never I done like it with rice. Beans. Oh my god, refried beans are so goddamn good. Yeah, I think Taco Bell would be mine though. Like any fast food for a month, I just. There's more options, and I can eat damn near my whole, my body weight in Taco Bell, and be I just. I could fine. live off um, uh, Chick Fil A. Oh, Chick Fil A is good. It's just the only problem is that like there's only like one thing that I get. I just get the standard plain ass sandwich with the fries. So I would get kind of sick. You get mayo of to put on it? Hell no, that's disgusting. What? Try I would... it. Try it. It's no. so good. Chick Fil A so sauce. Good. I do Chick Fil A sauce every time. Oh, mm, you gotta yeah. do the mayo. Okay, I tell you what, I will try the mayo one time. I'll send you a picture of me trying it with the mayo. You gotta do a video and then post it on your story. <sighs> like, okay, you guys, I'm trying this, and then put some on your waffle fries. I will definitely try it on the French fry because I've heard from multiple people, uh, like people that I know who'd hate ketchup, that they're like, oh, I just dip my fries in like mayo, and I've I don't even I've never tried fr it. But... 
It's more yeah, like I mean, dipping the mayo into like onto the fry. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> that is, I, like I, mean, I just I'm, load it. And I'm just like there's not a chance in hell I'm going that far. But uh, I will definitely try. You know, like a good scoop onto a fry from Chick Fil A sometime. Because it does. I mean, that that might be all right. God damn. Do you believe in ghosts? Absolutely. I figured. Have you ever seen a ghost? Uh, when I was a kid, yes. Really? Like, I was like 13? Uh, it was in a house that we lived in that was haunted. And I walked by my brother's, like I went from my room, which was then mm-hmm. afterwards my mom's room because I moved out when I was like 14. But I walked by and you can see a woman in a white gown with like long white hair in the room. And I was like, what did I just see? And I walked back and I like looked and it was gone. But I always had night terrors about that basement. I always really? had a dream that I would like run. Otherwise, like I'd have to mm-hmm. run across. Otherwise, I'd get sucked down and the door would get closed, like get shut and it wasn't mm-hmm. finished or anything. So it was like all dirt. And it was just like a very eerie feeling down there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then Do um, you have recurring nightmares? <laughs> oh, Excuse it. me. Bless you. Uh, I do like with this pregnancy, it's weird. So I actually have uh-huh. to listen to binaural beats. But I'm really? I always end up yeah, yeah. yeah. If okay. I listen to binaural beats, um I, I don't have any night terrors or nightmares. Uh-huh. Um my allergies are so bad right now, I need to take reaction <laughs> after. Yeah, um mine too. So then like a little dusty in here. Yeah. Um <laughs> so then yeah, I I get um sleep perilous pair. Paralysis. That? We paralysis. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, and then Fuck. I'll just, like, hear things, and I'm just like, am I actually awake or am I asleep? I'm like, whatever, I'm just going to enjoy it for what it is, and then when That I is get the up, best way to handle it. Yeah. 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 Because I say fighting it makes it, like, way worse, which I've never had but sleep I paralysis. I love it. Where you're trying to, like, scream, you're like, Ugh. and you're trying to, like, move, <laughs> and you're just like. God, that up. sounds miserable. I, uh. It's Right. Yeah, I have a recurring. I've always since I was a little kid, I've had a recurring nightmare of. Um, have you ever seen Anaconda with John Voight and Jennifer Lopez? No. Okay. Never mind. So, well, anyways, I, mean, I could have, but I just never did. Well, there's a part where like John Voight is being eaten by the anaconda, and it's like wrapping around him, and it's squeezing him every time he breathes out. It like squeezes more and more, and you're like the crunching, and he's looking up at the mouth of the anaconda opened up, and he's like seeing inside of its throat. I have a dream. I would say, and not even exaggerating, at least three or four times a month where that is happening to me. And it is a slow process of me just being slowly squeezed to death and eaten by a giant snake, which that's insane. Yeah. I don't know what old Freud would think about that, but yeah. Um, Sure. It's stress, stress related. in In the same house, uh, before I had moved out, when I was 14, I, I was smoking weed or whatever, and I had a weed bandana up on the wall above for my stereo. And Hell I'm like yeah. laying there, you know, trying to fall asleep. And all of a sudden, I see this like white figure. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, put the blanket over my head. And then I just like tucked myself in, like all <sighs> the way around. And I just like cur- curled up into a ball. And then when I woke up the next morning, it was like half ripped off the wall. God, like, oh, really, this ghost does not like weed things, so uh, I just took Ugh. it down and hit it. That is God, that's terrifying. Like, I don't know if ghosts are real. I, don't, I still like, I ask a lot of people that question just because it is fascinating to me, but like, I mm-hmm. don't know. Like, I feel like I just would have to see it and it would have to, but I, I, th- I feel like even if I did, I would try so hard to talk myself out of it being real. You know, like yeah, I would, like, I was just, I was just seeing things. It's not real. Yeah. I mean, I would like, that's just like the type of like brain that I have, which I don't, I mean, I'm not saying like good or bad. It's just, yeah. What's your favorite unusual smell? So not something that they would make into like a candle or something, but like, so for me, gasoline or petrol, as you may say. But. Okay. It's going to be super gross. Oh God. But I should have known. Ever but. since I was a kid, when I started my period, I like the smell of my blood. Oh, oh God. I mean, I oh, wouldn't God. drink it or taste it or anything, but no, it was thank, just, well, that's no. good. I <sighs> I'm huge. Like I, I only like raw beef. Like I love raw everything. What? 
like yeah like raw raw like <laughs> raw raw like i, um, I like, like like blue rare meat uh, if i could cut if i could cut meat fresh off the cow and just eat it i would i mean you could um it'd be frowned upon but so you could. yeah and then as i got older and like you tampons it's so gross but it was just like that smell it was like like the iron like a nickel like an aphrodisiac like an i don't know it was just it was <sighs> it's messed up it's so messed up oh but like shit. that explains probably why like when i watch horror movies like hostile it just like turns me on because i'm like oh my god it's so fucking hot i'm just like holy jesus christ when yeah. i see blood i'm just like who yeah so you know gross. have you ever heard of the chupacabra you know what that is? Um, you ever heard of that? It's like a it's I've a Texas folklore. I mean, I guess not just Texas, like Southern United States, but it's like it's. I mean, in Spanish, little like the literal translation. Tra- fuck me, the literal translation is a goat sucker, chupa cabra. Um, but it's like a thing that just sucks blood out of like goats and cows and shit. I have a like ninety percent feeling that you may in fact be a human chupa cabra. I'm fucking dead. Which is, you know, not an insult or anything, uh, but uh, holy hell. Yeah, see, I mean, I like, like, I go, you know, medium rare for, like, steak, um, but never more than that. Holy fucking, the smell of urine. Holy Jesus. Yeah, that's a... No, the smell of... No, not smell of urine. Oh, I thought you said the smell of urine. No, I was... Cheerios most of the time. (sighs) Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. on. So, when you drink coffee... When you drink coffee, it smells like Cheerios. <sighs> okay. Um, I don't think that's, there's no, there, I mean, coffee doesn't make it smell like Cheerios. There's no way. It does. If you it drink makes it smell coffee, like coffee. No, it smells like, it smells like Cheerios. Do you drink a lot of water? Yeah. On top of blood, I guess, but. uh, I don't drink blood. I, I mean. Would you? Like if you could just, have you ever seen? Oh God, I know we're talking about movies. Have you ever seen if the I movie? I drink Date? my own blood, sure. But if it was other people's blood, I'd be like, I don't know what the fuck was been has been their system. Yeah, but, they might have tainted blood. I don't want to touch oh, that. Well, that's true. Um, there's a movie called Daybreakers, which I don't know if you've ever seen. It's a vampire movie. <gasps> so good. Okay. So good. Love that movie. But you know how they like because buy Legion the... came out at the same time. Oh, Legion's a great movie too. I love the I, so I, yeah. So good. Yes. So in Daybreakers, you know how they buy like like blood bags like when you donate blood mm-hmm. so you wouldn't and they like poured into like a cup at a thing you wouldn't do that like if it was like at a oh, fine I establishment would. like if it was if it was like well tested and it was that's dead what I'm and i know yeah, that yeah. i wouldn't get sick exactly definitely would i want it ice cold so i can like drink a straw <laughs> and then i let it pour down the sides of my mouth and i'm like <sighs> we are we're very different Delicious. darcy we are very different it's not a bad thing it's good for people to be different and come together through their differences. But boy, we have a lot of them. I mean, we like all the same movies, but I don't know if I'm ever going to drink anyone's blood. Although, I I mean, you know, I remember Can't reading this story. Just once. Try just once if that was ever a possibility. Well, you know, if you're it, not gonna sit. So I remember reading this story and I mean, I don't want to take up too much of your time. So I'll try to rush through this. I remember reading the story a while back about a fellow named General Butt Naked. I don't know if you've ever heard of this man. He's a real person. General Butt Naked was a leader of the um, Liberian like militia in Liberia and Africa. He had a tradition of before they would go into like fighting people. This is like back in like the late 90s, early 2000s. He would eat somebody. They would like round up somebody in a village. They'd kill them and he would eat their heart like no bullshit. And he would fight completely naked with just a sword, a.k.a. General Butt Naked. And dude like killed hundreds of people and never even got like injured somehow fighting against people with like machine guns and shit. And he's just going through with a sword. And he believed that eating a person's heart like gave him, you know, immortality. Much later, he like after he was done being a, you know, sociopath or psychopath, he was in Liberia going to just like this little food stand to buy meat and eat it like meat on a stick. And whenever he took a bite of it, he knew immediately that it was human meat. And so he reported that guy to the authorities. They found out this guy had been killing people and serving their meat. Now, I went on like kind of a mental tangent of would I try that? Like, if I came across a meat stand 
that was selling human meat like on a stick with barbecue sauce you know whatever seasoned you know would i try it and i think in all honesty i probably would would you i I think so to trick me because i couldn't even do rabbit i'd be like oh try this Uh, sick new like you know flavor of maybe back ribs or something yeah trick me so that i'm not like Sometimes I can do things, yeah. but other times I'm like, ugh. Well, I mean, I yeah, I get what you're saying. I just, and I used to probably think like, oh, if I was tricked and they told me afterwards, I don't think I'd be that upset. I'd just be like, oh, well, that was interesting that I tried it. Now, the more I think about, about it, the more I'm like, I think I actually would purposefully try it if it was an option. Which just say that you did it. Yeah, just out of curiosity, really. I mean, the person's already dead. Like, I mean, if I don't have to, like, you know, kill the person, I mean, I wouldn't do that. But, like, you know, if somebody, like, donated themselves to science and instead of them being used for research, they were served at, like, a, uh, you know, an Outback Steakhouse, then I'd probably order them. I'd be like, I'll take, you know, a slice of Timothy medium rare. Like, like, I think I probably would. Oh, goodness. I should not have probably That's shared funny. any of that. But do That's late. amazing. Okay, last question before we go. What is, I mean, so I don't think you, you might not even have an answer for this, actually. Uh, what is the movie that scared you the most as a child? The movie that scared me the most as a child? Yeah, and it honestly doesn't even have to be a horror movie. Because for me, mine isn't a horror movie. But, uh. Uh, the 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 show that scared me most as a child was um uh, who's the person off of not goosebumps it was the other one not, uh, it was the are you skeleton. afraid of the dark oh I think so yeah uh, no 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 tales from the crypt is the one with the skin. that one yeah 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 for some reason that spooked me as a kid now yeah, the it doesn't keeper. When I watch uh, it with my dad now, I'm just like, this was so stupid. How was I yeah. so scared of this back when I was a kid? Oh, it, no, that's actually, I mean, that that is a good one. Uh, mine was Snow White, <laughs> like the Disney one. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When she turns into a witch, like that part scared the hell out of me. Like when she turns to that witch and like her voice, it's like, it's very similar to like the exorcist, like how Linda yeah. Blair's voice changes, like her voice is, it's very similar to that. And it, it fucked my head up as a kid, but I, I like horror movies didn't really scare me. Like the ring, the ring kind of got me whenever I was a kid. Cause I was only I like, like eight years. Oh, I love it now, but I was only like eight years old when it came out. So I remember watching it and just being like, I probably, I'm probably not supposed to be watching this, but yeah. Well, Darcy, this has been fucking awesome. It's been so good having you back on. Uh, definitely going to have to do it again. Maybe don't, maybe, I'm down. yeah, maybe not wait, you know, four years. I might try to, yeah, that's a little, a little sooner than that. I did. I can't believe it's been that long. That's fucking wild. Time kind of just, I know. time kind of goes. I've been on the go nonstop since then. Yeah. It's been insane. Same. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's been a really busy. Just flew by. Oh my God. Yeah. It, whenever i think about stuff like like some something will come up and it'll say like oh this was in 2019 or whatever i'm like oh okay that wasn't that long ago and then I'm, then i have to realize like oh that's half a decade ago <laughs> like that's right. five years ago like half a decade but like in my head one way exactly oh when when 29 if something from 2019 comes up in my head i'm just like oh yeah that was like a, a year ago maybe no half a decade Ugh. yeah well, no. So anyways, this has been awesome. Again, uh, before Thank we go, you. one last time, uh, where can people find you? All that good stuff. Do you have a uh, final message you want to send to the world? Uh, your opinion on the Middle East? I don't know. Something like that. The Middle East? Well, I don't know. There, It seems like stuff is going weird over there. I don't know if you had a, uh, so a way of solving it. News, no, and I, I don't pay attention to anything. Good way to be. I'm just in my own little world. Um, yeah. You don't have to solve the problem in the Middle East. I was just trying to think of it. <laughs> just like, I don't example. know. No. But uh, any, any I'm final message? I'm definitely going to get rest up. <laughs> That's Hell it. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do <laughs> before I got to slave away the rest of the 11 days. Yeah. Well, good luck. We're all counting on you. <laughs>